Welcome back everyone, Toysh is here, and I am back yet again to give you guys another news update. The second annual Hasbro Pulse Con has concluded. 2021 is over, and that's it. But we got some awesome Marvel Legends, Marvel 375s are coming, and we had all the Marvel Legends themselves from the team that creates all the toys that we love, and they talked all the great new stuff, including, if you're interested, the Hasbro PulseCon exclusive. So these were revealed. This is the Modoc figure, of course, and then my personal favorite, just because I, you know, I got to reveal it. This is the Spider-Man: The Animated Series Venom figure. So you can grab both of those if you are interested. But we got a lot to talk about, so we'll go right into it. But before we do. Let me just tell you, I'll have links in the description below if you want any of these pre-ordered figures when applicable. Of course, I'll have Amazon and Entertainment Earth links down below. Thanks for using links to help the channel to grow. So to kick it off, we're talking Marvel 375. They showed off a Hasbro PulseCon exclusive two-pack. We're going to be getting Phoenix, Jean Grey, which she looks good. I'm a big fan of these. Also, if you're interested, I do have a contest on my channel right now for Marvel 375. I'm giving away an entire set of the fourth wave. So go and enter that now. Just find the video in my video log. And then we have Wolverine, which of course, yeah, he looks great. These are just a guilty pleasure. I like these little 375 figures. So these are gonna come on like a foil card. I just call them Marvel 375s. That's like the first foil little thing. So if you keep these in package, sure, you like the foil. For me, I open them up. But uh, yeah, they look pretty cool, so you can grab these on the Pulse. And then they unveiled, yes, this is the checklist for all the 2021 Marvel 375 figures. And I can't believe, yes, that you know, they're spot on. I have them all, minus, of course, Wolverine and the new Jean Grey. But for 2022, we got a couple new figure reveals. We're going to be getting a Mr. Fantastic to start rounding out the Fantastic Four. Just one more to go for them then we have a classic falcon and he also comes with an accessory finally more accessories for uh, this marvel 375 line please por favor and then the big one that i really like even though i need to see it in hand because the face looks a little wonky dude to me. <laughs> venom and i love the card arts on that guy I love the just the old fashioned is I have no problem ripping it off the card but i do keep the cards because uh, they're just that cool and then this was pretty cool, right? Dan got to talk with comic book writer Donny Cates. And Donny Cates is, well, most recently we'll say even more well-known for his recent King in Black story arc. So if you know the big bad guy from King in Black, then you know we're going to be getting a null action figure. And that looks killer. Absolutely love that. Now, I think he is missing a few things here and there. Maybe a nice cape. They didn't reveal anything else. Probably not going to come with a cape on this one to be honest with you but he comes with his necro sword and he just looks menacing that's awesome eight inches tall and he will be a part of 2022 in some fashion they really didn't go into detail but they did specify that another donny cates created character will probably be joining him in whatever fashion they choose to unleash him and in moving on to another store exclusive i know a lot of people are like don't say it please don't say it yep we're going to Walgreens again for Marvel Legends 2022. The first figure of the new year for next year will be Baron Zemo. So he will be the first one. No specific dates released, of course. Look for him, we'll say early 2022 in some fashion. And then moving into the more retro carded figures. So these are more of those old fashioned early toy biz. They're going to do the West Coast Avengers now to join tigra and, and, and hercules and like those types of figures so we have a less metallic but basically the same figure from the three pack with magneto and uh quick silver so we're getting a new scarlet witch quote unquote and she looks good nice reds nice powers it's kind of the same figure you've seen so unless you missed her this might be a pass for some and then we're getting the white vision he is barefoot he looks good if you missed what is it the old target exclusive i think way back when i think it was a three pack this looks like a more updated better looking designed one so again if you missed either of these yeah you can grab them finally and then this was actually pretty cool 
Friend of the channel, David Nakayama, he took to the Hasbro PulseCon to talk about some really interesting, maybe an upcoming Marvel legend, we'll see, but he went into detail about his artwork, and that is always cool to hear an artist process when designing, and he got to reveal, this was actually pretty cool, the third Summers' brother from the X-Men, this is Vulcan, and another great part about this is that Vulcan will, in fact, for 2022, be kicking off the new basic body for Marvel Legends figures. So we're eschewing the old Bucky Camp body mold that's been put to rest, right? Dead as a doornail. Now we're getting a new improved body. New base body, it's pinless, which is really nice. I hear Talker Arts, he's already on it. He's like, ah, it's because of him, right? Everybody, pinless tech, new improvements, butterfly joints, proportionately sound, same height roughly as Bucky Cap. So very cool to see. And again, Vulcan will be kicking it off in 2022 as part of the X-Men line in however fashion that he is released. Moving on to, we'll say Disney Plus, more of the MCU. They didn't have any MCU. Keep in mind, they can't show MCU figures unless you've already seen it released by Disney in some fashion for a movie or a show. But we're going to be getting a Captain America Sam Wilson and a Captain America Steve Rogers. So it's the Captain America 2-pack, of course. And this pack is a little bit different only because it comes with an unmasked Anthony Mackie. And when I say unmasked, I mean like ungoggled Anthony Mackie. So if you miss the figure or if you want to get him in that sense, you can grab him. Traditional cap, Steve Rogers. He's basically the same one as the Walgreens single exclusive that was kind of hard to track down. Uh, what was it? About probably about a year and a half, almost two years ago now. So you can get him, come with an unmasked head, two shields, hands. All that great stuff. And then we're also be getting a Falcon and the Winter Soldier Disney Plus tie-in. This is like a flashback Bucky. They have updated Bucky in pretty much every sense. You got two new head sculpts, you got some weapons, and you got updated deco, of course. So, if you are interested in getting that whole dealie, well then, you got a couple Disney Plus figures to check out. But this was the big one for me. I was like, oh my god, they're going to do it. Finally. They're going to do it. All the complaining, right? I finally got to them. <laughs> this is because of all my Toy Biz retro videos, I'm sure. All the retro shizness. But yes, this was awesome. Eric and Julia Leewald, X-Men, the animated series, writers, creators, all that jazz. Thank you so much for all the nostalgic memories on that. Sweetest couple. I've actually got to talk with them. They're fantastic. Nicest people you've ever met. So humble. And it's just a pleasure they're like my grandparents you know what I mean they're just really cool people but this was awesome it was almost like a a sweet like x-men infomercial in a way they got to reveal the new x-men the animated series vhs marvel legends figures yes they're doing x-men the animated series in a vhs type box like the old pizza hut right remember going to pizza hut some of you are like no But uh, yeah, I did, and I got the first uh, two. It was like Enter Magneto, and I think the other one was Night of the Sentinels. I I wore the heck out of those tapes. But yeah, if you ordered a pizza, uh, a kid's club pizza, I forget. Anyways, regardless, it's in a VHS box tape. And Wolverine looks fantastic. He's got some cell shading going on. I don't care what anybody says. I know we've gotten a ton of Wolverines. But this is the Wolverine I've always wanted, of course especially with Spider-Man, the animated series. He's going to go up against Hobgoblin now, right? For the mutant agenda. So the X-Men, the Spider-Man, the animated series crossover can officially happen. But Wolverine's not the only one. We got Jubilation Lee, Jubilee. And with the new Sentinel, it's not X-Men, the animated series accurate, of course. But, you know, we can find out if mall babes do eat chili fries. How many times have I used that reference in a video, right? You can smack me via the internet that way. But... Yes, Jubilee coming with powers and the glasses and everything else, extra heads. She looks fantastic. Both of these look fantastic. Wolverine, which is like the best part. Poor Wolverine. He, he is officially the meme, right? Cell shaded, two portraits, picture frame opens. You can put your photo in if you want to, or you can leave it really creepy that he's got Scott and Jean in it. Or you could put a picture as Dan insisted of Dwight's curtains if you wanted to go that route points to whoever gets this figure first does that meme right there that's a meme of a meme right there and he also comes with all new and 
like Ryan said, very sturdy, animated, rounded out claws to mimic the animated series. So they've improved the claw technology. Jubilee, again, really fancy packaging. She comes with two head sculpts. She's got all the glasses, which I was going through my X-Men figures the other day, and I dropped Jubilee, and her glasses fell and disappeared. It, like, evaporated. It took me, like, two hours to finally find them. You know how that goes when you drop any accessory. But she comes with her powers as well. I really wish she would have come with, like, more, like, the... The Jubilee effects, you know what I mean? That's the one thing. But she looks great, and the best part is you can recreate thrift stores nowadays or heck, even your old 80s, 90s VHS shelf in your rumpus room, (laughs) your attic, your basement, wherever you had these things. I think that's really cool. I think that's great. Nice combination of packaging and figure. Now you can't throw the packaging out. Thanks very much, but uh, in either case, I am super stoked on this in case you couldn't tell. And then, hey, did you know it's the 20th anniversary of Marvel Legends figures? 20 years we've been doing this madness, right? My God. But first and foremost, on Parallel Universe, you remember that? He got to reveal the Captain America. Yes, the shield does have holes. Yes, you probably have a bevy of Captain America figures. Yes, I really wish they would have included two shields, of course, but you go that route and... uh, yeah, he's got a bunch of hands and effects and uh, accessories. But the packaging is pretty cool. No, it's not a clamshell. It mimics the clamshell, but it's a blister card. Eh, that's pretty, pretty dang cool, I gotta say. You know what I mean? Like, as much as I remember buying the first wave of Marvel Legends figures, here we are, 20 years later, and going, okay, yeah, let's buy them all over again. Second figure in the 20th anniversary wave is Iron Man. And he comes with two head portraits and effects and hands, and he's got the... I'm not a big fan. I like I like the base, right? The plastic says Marvel Legends, but the backdrop thing, I mean, 20 years ago, we got a nice detailed out, holy heck, base. Now it's just a card. It's a little disappointing, I'm going to say, for a 20th anniversary line of a figure line that's been going all that time. Yes, I'm disappointed by that. But yes, it's got the same kind of card, right? And on the backside, they did tease that Toad, even though he was not revealed officially, will be the third figure of this wave so that's pretty cool to see so 20th anniversary line these will go for pre-order this is a shared exclusive between hasbro pulse and shop disney so you can get them in 2022 at those two places if you want them and then this was actually pretty cool they did this little thing during the the whole segment of uh, using hashtags anyways the results was despair and i don't really know a lot about this guy i've seen him Probably in trading card form, I think. I'd probably have a comic book or two with him. But yeah, he's like the Nightmare guy, or he's related to Nightmare. I don't know, but he looks great. Somewhere in 2022, he will fit in. Really nice looking, cool, creepy figure. That's what I like. Really odd end type characters that we've never had a figure of. That's what I love. And then they finally left us with this. Now, this is when I went... Oh, finally, right? After all this time, he was like, build, remember, Wizard Magazine and everything else, billing him as like the new X-Man and who is he and all this stuff. Maggot. We're getting, well, hopefully it's Maggot. I don't know. I was wrong on Morbius. So if you don't think it's Maggot, he's got, (laughs) the guy eats matter or something, uses two sentient maggots and it goes into his chest cavity. You know what? Just, yeah. That's what it is. It's just a maggot Marvel Legends figure. Don't ask any questions on the actual character. He's just really cool. He's like a blue mint mutant with white hair. Unless they've changed him. But that's how I knew him best. Really cool artwork back then for him too. Definitely check it out. 90s style. So that really does it for the entirety of the Hasbro PulseCon 2021 Marvel Legends updates. Again, if you are interested in any of these figures when applicable, I'll have links in the description below so you can grab them yourself. But I am curious to know what you guys think. Will you be grabbing any of these, all of these? Which is the figure that stood out most to you? For me, X-Men the Animated Series, baby. Of course, you already knew that. That's just how I roll. And then Despair, he looks great. And when we finally see Maggot, that's I, I'm, I'm very happy with the showings, especially also Marvel 375. I'm hoping that we just get more and more of those. Again, guilty pleasure. They're a lot of fun to collect. Go head over to my YouTube. I mean, obviously, you're already there. Just go one video, two videos back, and you can enter the contest for the entire Series 4 Marvel 375 way. So I'm going to leave you guys with that. As always, drink some great coffee, eat some great food, but most importantly, remember, I'm taking the next couple days off. Enjoy your weekend in a couple days. I'll see you probably in a, in a few. Don't, don't worry about it. I'll, just, I'll be around my Instagram, I'm sure. And when you do, let me know what you found. I'll talk to you guys soon. Adios.